Hello, we'll look at uh, customizing copy constructors. The only time you need to customize copy constructors is to perform a deep copy. In the preceding section, we have the problem demonstrated in example with the shadow copy. So you have that pointer points to the array and points to the same array. And that caused the problem. So we need to have a customized copy constructor. So here is the copy constructor is cos const cos pass by reference. This is the destructor. So here is the destructor. All right, everything else the same. So now this destructor and the copy constructor. So let's see how we're gonna implement this copy constructor here. So uh, let's first look at the uh, constructor. For the constructor here, you have this course name. And for the student, you're going to have new string brackets as it is. All right, so now for this destructor, you're going to have, us. we already have this. So it's a good practice. We're going to ensure that students are not deleted again. So just want to see that is, um, is not null here. So we're going to write something here is this is not no students and not no. So we're going to delete this students. So now we're going to have a no pointer to students. So. All right, so let's look at the last part here is for the uh, copy constructor. So how do you do this? You copy this course here. So this is the from this course, you're going to copy it into this. This is the same as here, this. And so the number of objects and this and the capacity of this and student this. So for students, for students, what do we do? We create a new string capacity. This then copy everything from the course students array into this. After you're doing this, we're going to rewrite this program here is this is course we're going to add to this uh, uh, student visa mod to course two so here is course two dot at at visa ma so this is to add visa ma and now you Look, you're going to print this, all this students in course one. So I'm going to have this is the, uh, the size here is course one dot get number of students. So this. All right, so the output, you see it's right. So for student in course one, so that's Peter Pan. So you did it here, Peter Pan. And now here you you get a new copy, so that includes Peter Pan. So after that, you add Lisa Ma. So for the course two, you're gonna see Peter Pan and Lisa Ma. So that is correct. So let's look at this diagram. You're gonna see this. So here is for this course one. So you now add Peter Pan into course one. So now create a copy. So you have this copy. It's a new array for students that copied Peter Pan here. So now you add a new student to course two. So this is right here. That is all for this section on customizing copy constructors. See you on the next video.